storm. I have to go away. Oh. The ascent is quite difficult. It's very steep. on the top of the mountain. Now I have to find a uh, spot to place the tent. It's quite the, it's quite windy up here. The wind comes from that direction. I think the best solution is to reach the, the flat ground down there and place the tent. Yeah, uh, the, the marmots should be in the near that place. I try to see with the with the binocular but I I don't see anything. I'm going to put the, my tent he, uh, here 
is the holy place, holy flat, flat place. Down there you can see the the marmot hole. I hope you can hear me. There are a lot of wind. Probably tomorrow morning I see the the little uh, the little marmot uh, uh, coming out from the from the hole. Now I start placing the tent. set the wind is still really hard I hope that the tent resist it's going to be a <laughs> not really good night it's 9 p.m. Uh, panorama this scenario is awesome Okay, I'm in the tent. Ah, it's really nice, it's really comfortable to stay here inside while out is uh, too windy. Now I'm going to change my sweat clothes, uh, eating, in, eating, eating something, and think uh, I'm going to sleep. Sneaking inside the, the sleeping bag. See you tomorrow.
good morning. It wasn't a good night. The wind <laughs> blew all night long. Now I put my camouflage net on the tent. Outside it's completely calm. I can't hear the marmot. I think that they come out when the sun is rising on the grass on this field. She has come down. I was planning to do a flight drone to film the sunrise when the alarm starts. She is sitting up there with the face toward the, the sun. This is my first experience with marmots. To be honest, until a few weeks ago I didn't even know about their presence here in central Italy. They are very common in the northern mountains, where it is very easy to observe them even on the roadsides. They are not indigenous to this area, 
but they are part of an introduction that took place about six years ago to encourage the increase in golden eagles, which finds marmots as one of its favorite prey. They have easily become part of this environment, and seeing them is not difficult. Just reach these beautiful high altitude meadows and pay attention to hear their distinctive whistle. Another one start whistling to me for a few minutes, then come down and the little guys came out and now he's there alone, enjoying the first rays of sunrise. the little marmot The weather completely changed. A few minutes ago, it was sunny, and now the sky is completely covered by the clouds. Look. It starts raining. Oh. 
Oh no. This is bad. This is really bad. My tent had this hole. Oh. I hope this is uh, a really fast storm because it's not a really good thing to be at the top of the mountain with the carbon equipment, carbon tripod and, and stuff. I really hope that it go away. Let me close this, this hole. I'm out checking the situation here in the tent and outside and look at this <laughs> the marmot still up there it's completely disinteresting me the weather is really variable I don't know if I have to dismount the tent uh, packing all the stuff and trying to sneaking around and take some picture uh, walking in the middle I don't know I have to go away a storm can you see behind me there is a storm coming directly in my, in my direction I have to move faster Being on a mountain top during a storm is not very safe and with carbon equipment it becomes extremely dangerous. So my adventure ends here. I love marmots, they are definitely one of the most funny subjects I have photographed. They are not shy, you could almost get close enough to touch them, but I don't want that. I prefer to stay at a respectful distance and observe them without disturbing. I like to say, I am a curious spectator who silently admires and each time is amazed in front of the great film of nature. <laughs>